Welcome to a summarization video of the questions and answers. This are not the questions but a summarization as we understand them. There is a link to the full Q&A in the description. Understanding the questions reporters ask Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell during his press conferences is crucial as they reveal key concerns and uncertainties surrounding the economy and the Fed's policy decisions. By analyzing Powell's responses, we gain valuable insights into the Fed's thinking and potential future actions, which can impact financial markets, the overall economy, and even personal finances. This video delves into some of the most significant questions posed to Powell and his corresponding answers, shedding light on the implications of his remarks for various economic stakeholders. Let's start with the Q&A. Steve Leisman, CNBC, questions the Fed's tolerance for higher inflation and willingness to slow the economy. Answer, no, the Fed remains committed to bringing inflation down to 2% over time. The higher projections reflect recent data, but the overall story of gradual disinflation remains unchanged. Rachel Siegel, Washington Post, asks about the delay in housing inflation relief and its impact on overall inflation and potential rate cuts. Answer, there is confidence that lower market rent increases will eventually show up in measures of housing services inflation, but the exact timing is uncertain. The Fed remains confident that it can get overall inflation down to target, even if housing inflation doesn't break through quickly. Nick Tamiraus, Wall Street Journal, seeks clarification on seemingly conflicting statements about the first rate cut and inquires about the impact of calendar adjustments on inflation readings. Answer. The Fed sees the risks of easing policy too soon or too late as two-sided. Easing too soon could lead to a resurgence of inflation, while easing too late could unduly weaken economic activity and employment. The Fed wants to be careful and let the data guide its decisions. Anne Sophia, is there enough data between now and May or June to give the Fed the confidence it needs to start cutting rates? Answer, the Fed will make decisions meeting by meeting, and any adjustments to the target range for the federal funds rate will depend on the ongoing assessment of incoming data, the evolving outlook, and the balance of risks. Chris Rugabess, what is behind the increase in the neutral rate projection? And does it suggest that the economy has changed in a way that higher rates will be needed in the future? Answer. The Fed doesn't know for sure whether rates will be higher in the long run. The increase in the neutral rate projection may reflect the fact that rates were generally low in the pre-pandemic era. Neil Irwin, Axios. Do you view the easing of financial conditions since the fall as consistent with what the Fed is trying to achieve on the inflation mandate? Answer. The Fed thinks that financial conditions are still weighing on economic activity as evidenced by the cooling off of demand in the labor market. The Fed will continue to monitor financial conditions closely. Michael McKee, Bloomberg. Question, how does the Fed see inflation dynamics playing out going forward, given the recent uptick in inflation data? Answer, the Fed is still assessing whether the recent uptick in inflation is a temporary bump in the road or something more persistent. The Fed will continue to monitor the data closely and make decisions accordingly. Edward Lawrence, question. How do letters from lawmakers calling on the Fed to lower interest rates affect policy decisions? Answer. The Fed receives these letters with respect and listens to the concerns of lawmakers. However, the Fed ultimately makes its own judgments based on its mandate to promote maximum employment and price stability. Claire Joel Times question. Would you want to see unanimity or near unanimity on the FOMC before beginning to cut rates? Answer, the Fed is a consensus-oriented organization, but dissents are respected and do not prevent the FOMC from making decisions. Simon Rabinovich, The Economist. Question. Are you concerned about potential cracks appearing in the employment market, and what would constitute a significant deterioration in the labor market that would warrant easing rates? Answer. The Fed is not currently seeing any cracks in the employment market, but it is monitoring the data closely. A significant deterioration in the labor market would be something unexpected, such as a sharp rise in the unemployment rate. Steve Matthews, 
Question. When will the Fed decide to slow the pace of asset runoff, and what will the new pace be? Answer. The Fed will decide to slow the pace of asset runoff fairly soon, but it has not yet decided on a specific date or new pace. Victoria Guider. Question. How might the outlook for the banking sector impact the Fed's balance sheet plans? Answer. The Fed will be watching the banking sector carefully, but one of the reasons it is slowing down the pace of asset runoff is to avoid any turbulence in the financial system. Nancy Marshall-Genza. Question. What specific data is the Fed looking at to gain confidence that inflation is getting to its 2% goal? Answer. The Fed is primarily looking at incoming inflation data, including the various components of inflation. The Fed is also looking at other economic data, such as wage growth, to get a sense of the overall health of the economy. Greg Robb, MarketWatch, question. Are there more FOMC officials who want to be careful and go slower on rates than at the last meeting? Answer Chair, Powell said that the recent inflation data suggests that it is appropriate for the Fed to be careful as it approaches the question of when to start cutting rates. Question. What is the Fed doing right now on a digital dollar? Answer. The Fed is not actively developing a central bank digital currency, CBDC. However, the Fed is researching CBDCs and trying to stay on the frontiers of digital finance. Mark Hamrick, Bankrate. Question. How important has increased transparency been for the Fed? And is there more that the Fed can do on the transparency front? Answer Chair Powell believes that increased transparency has been broadly helpful for the Fed and has made things better. However, he does not see any immediate need for further transparency measures. Statistics regarding Chair Powell's answers. Chair Powell mentioned inflation 27 times during the press conference. He mentioned data 18 times. He mentioned economy 15 times. He mentioned labor market 10 times. He mentioned balance sheet 7 times. These statistics suggest that Chair Powell is primarily focused on inflation and the overall health of the economy. He is also committed to taking a data-dependent approach to monetary policy. Thank you for watching. Stock price is up 1.25% from start of the day. Like and subscribe to learn more.